You need to use this free tool in order to boost FPS, lower input delay and even get lower ping inside of all of the games that you play. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a completely free tool that you can use right now in order to boost FPS, fix any and all FPS drops or stutters and even get lower ping in any game that you play regardless of your PC specifications. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and also make sure to hit that subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing but without any further ado let's dive straight into today's video so the tool i'm talking about is 100 free and it's developed by chris titus and i'm gonna leave a link down below to his channel so you can check out an extra in-depth guide and also some of his other guides that are related to optimization however what this tool will do is that it will completely optimize your windows for ultimate gaming and in order to access this all you need to do is go down into the description of this video and go on to my website and you will find a command there and then what you need to do is just go ahead and select that command and copy it once you have copied that command open up your start menu and search for powershell once you find this the powershell app just right click on it and run it as administrator after it loads up i'm just gonna go ahead and put it here so after the powershell loads up just right click anywhere to paste the command or press in the control v to paste in the command and once the command has been pasted all you need to do is just press enter and then it will do its work it's going to go ahead and download the utility inside of your PC and it's then gonna go ahead and run it. You do need to be patient in this part because it might take some time. It's not gonna take too much time but it might take some time depending on your network as well as your PC. So just let it do its work and let it sit and it's gonna be opening up the program in any second now. Alright so the tool is already loaded up here. Now the first step is install. Inside of this section you can install a bunch of useful programs but we don't need to install any of these for the sake of customization and tweaking. So we're gonna go ahead and skip this part and go into the tweaks tab. Now inside of here you will see three recommended selections. One is the desktop which are recommended for the desktop users. The second one is for laptop users and the third one is minimal which basically applies only the essential tweaks and even those are very few. So if you are someone who mostly wants to be safe and doesn't want the most out of this program just go ahead click on desktop and run the tweaks if you're using a desktop. Same thing for the laptops and then minimal is basically for those people who don't want to use tweaks at all but here are my recommendations all you need to do is click on the desktop if you are on a desktop of course and then i'm gonna be showing you guys the additional tweaks that you should check inside of here in order to get the most out of this tool so the first one is of course delete the temporary files now this one is highly recommended it just erases the temp folders uh, but it's gonna go ahead and provide you with a little bit of extra speed as well as storage other than that everything inside of here is obviously checked already inside of the missed tweaks we're gonna be going ahead and enabling the power throttling as well now I know it does say only for laptops but you can use it on desktop as well. Then for the file extensions it's basically a personal preference but I always go ahead and recommend checking it. Then there is the disable UAC of course you want it. Disable notifications of course you want to disable all of the notifications. This is actually only for those of you guys who want to upgrade to Windows 11 so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. Remove all MS Store apps. Now this one is of course as it says use with caution. This will remove all of the Microsoft App Store apps. Other than the essentials to make winget work game installed by ms store are included so i would personally recommend not checking this inside of here but instead going down to your settings going inside of the apps and then going ahead and personally uninstalling all of the apps that come pre-installed with windows or you can even use a separate debloater that allows you to customize the list of the apps you want to delete i have a bunch of videos on those tools that you can check out on my channel so for the remove katana of course you want to remove it remove microsoft edge once again i highly recommend you to use any other browser perhaps not chrome but any other browser than microsoft edge and set the classic uh, right click manual it's basically really up to you it's only for the windows 11 because windows 11 does not have this context menu so yeah other than that the dns um dns is actually a really important thing so what you need to do in order to check which dns you should be applying is basically we are going to be going ahead and testing the google as well as the cloudflare dns so what you need to do is open up 
up your start menu and search for CMD. Go ahead and run it as administrator. And first we are going to be going ahead and checking the Google DNS. So for that, go ahead and type in the ping, then type in 8.8.8.8 and then press enter. Now what this is going to do is it's going to ping the uh, Google DNS and it's going to show us our ping. So maximum is 70, maximum is 71 and average is 70. So now I'm going to go ahead and ping the Cloudflare DNS. So ping 1.1.1.1 and then press enter. Now it's going to do the same thing but this time for the Cloudflare DNS and here I have a minimum ping of 51, maximum is 86 and average is 59. So clearly the Cloudflare DNS is giving me lower ping. So what I'm going to do is close out of this, select the DNS to Cloudflare and then I'm just going to go ahead and run the tweaks. Now I'm not going to be running the tweaks inside of this video because I don't want to mess up with my internet and recording since I have already applied most of these tweaks while testing and stuff. So I'm not going to go ahead and rerun those. However, for you guys, all you need to do now is run these tweaks and then it's going to go ahead and show you the process inside of here. Just don't worry, it's going to create a system restore point as well. So if any of you guys face any issues, you can always use that system restore point to revert all of these tweaks that have been applied here. Now, another thing that you can do is add ultimate performance profile and that's going to be added to the power schemes. But in my case, the ultimate power plan was deleted. So yeah, that is the reason it doesn't show up here. But for you guys, it will just add in the ultimate power plan, basically the performance profile. So that is basically it. You can go into the configuration and you can install these features. I think the .NET Framework 234 are the ones that I would recommend. Other than that, set up auto login, reset windows update, system corruption scan. These are all just the minor maintenance things that you can always do, of course. Here's also a list of the control panels. For example, the power panel. This is going to open up the control options or the power options. And then there is also the updates. You can go ahead and do the default or disable all updates. This is recommended. Now I do know it says not recommended. It's only not recommended for those people who want their systems to keep up to date with security updates and all that. But if you are someone who is careful on the internet and who wants the maximum performance out of your windows, I would just go ahead and disable all of the updates. That's basically it. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that this video helps you and if it did, then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.